Hello and welcome to Blocks Master. My name is Elder and today I want to share with you a quick video showing how awesome our site templates in Blocks 5. Yes, if you haven't already, you should definitely check out the Blocks 5, which is amazing upgrade for Blocks 4. So I have Blocks 5 opened here. Let me show you how to use site templates. So by default you have six built in and these are actually great. You can preview them right away from here without actually creating a project, which is great. But what I of course want to show you is how to use my blocks templates. Let's go to, this is the templates I have already either rebuilt from scratch to support the site future, site templates future, or optimized and rebuilt only the part using the colors. Colors and fonts are the biggest feature, of course, of site templates. So what I will do, I will open them in blocks five and it will ask me to confirm the installation. You only need to do this once, so it's not a big deal. So once you've done that, you can see that you have a collection of templates and I will release dozens and dozens more in common weeks, close to a hundred. And when you have them like this, it is much easier, easier to choose the one you like. You can preview them right away from here. And if you don't like it, you just close preview. You can switch to another one. And let's say that you want to use this template. To do that, you can just click use template. It will ask you to create to type a site name this will be used for the site name in blocks projects some templates will actually pick up the text you put here and show it as a, a name of the website right now this is the image logo so it is not changing here but if i were to change the image logo i don't know if i have anything on the desktop maybe i have some logo here let's say this one you can see that it will change that as well, but I think it's too big for now. So I will stick this the default logo. Actually, why not? Let me select something and I will change the size for this later. So the important thing I wanted to show you is of course, website colors, amazing new feature. And as you can see right now, by default, this template comes in kind of blue and I give two color options here for the website colors. Sometimes we have one, sometimes two, up to four. We can have four colors. And for this template, I only use two because, well, it basically uses only one color as a brand color. And if you take a look at all of the pages, all of them are using this blue everywhere for hover effects, for links, for buttons, for borders, for icons, for everything. And if I want to change that, all I need to do is to select this and let's say I want to make it red. And as you can see, by changing this one global swatch, I have changed the red color for all pages. So uh, this is the primary color. We have also the primary variant, which is usually the second version of lighter version or darker version of the primary one. So I will make this, well, because we used red for the main one, let's use some different lighter red for this one. So let's go to the home page. Well, let's click not next. We can change the font, of course, same story. So let's say I want to use Open Sans. It won't change everything, but most of the website will be changed to the font you choose here. And from here, oh, I will give a couple of seconds to generate the thumbnails, but now well, let me change this. I don't, I don't like how big it is, <laughs> something like that. So if we go to preview, you can see that the whole website now using this red, red style and it goes for everything, for hover effects, for links, for everything. And if I decide to change it later, I can always select the, open the global switch manager and these two colors, as you can see, they are here as well. So by opening the primary, I can change it back to anything I want. For example, let's say I want it to be dark green 
And for the second one, let's make it lighter green. So now the whole website is in these colors, all of the links, everything. Okay, so this is just one template. Let's take a look at a couple more. And well, depending on what the template is, for example, this one, it will use the colors creatively for background colors. As you can see right now, we have primary at purple. Well, we can make it, for example, reddish like this for the primary variant, which is used for buttons and other stuff like that. Well, let's make it very red, or maybe green, whatever. And for the secondary, you can see this time we have three. So let's change it to orange or yellow. And as you can see, this will kind of apply across the whole website. And, and of course, you can go to preview right from here without like uh, setting on some color. You can just try something, browse it if it is okay. You can go to next step, step. If you don't want to use it this, this way, you can just go back and change it again. Okay, let's, let me show you another one, but this time I will show you completely different. Oh, this one is actually will be cool. Before going to the next one, let me just try to change the interior. As you can see, by one click, the whole website, all pages, all links, all hover effects are now in blue. Very cool. But what I want to show you is actually a little bit different. There are three templates. Are, uh, this is the um, September, Resume and Ramen, which were black and white before. I had two versions for them, dark version, light version. But now I only have one version because this, this future we don't need more versions. So for example, this simple cafe or whatever ramen restaurant website. That's very cool. As you can see black and white by default, mostly black, of course. But if we use this template, we get four color choices, two primary and two secondary. And because this template is black and white, we can actually just replace primary and secondary and make the white version of this template. So first of all, let's try this something completely different, for example, red. And by the way, the primary variant usually, or secondary variant usually used for hover effects or something like that. When you want to have the same color, but a little bit different, this is why I have it here. So as you can see, I just changed, well, the thumbnails, it, they will be updated when I kind of finish this process, but you can already see in the preview how everything looks in red and white. And if we want, we can switch to white for the primary like that and for secondary this time we can set it to black or let's set it to blue secondary the second one a little bit lighter for example and now as you can see everything is now in white and blue if we don't like it to be super white let's make it something different for example bluish like that and then darker blue maybe or maybe or maybe black whatever so blocks side templates are very very fun and because you can kind of keep this changing later if you you can see that the thumbnails are generated right now so now they should be new so if you keep using the color management which you have in blocks I will teach, of course, everything in the new course I'm working on right now. But if you keep using the glob global swatch, uh, swatch manager right, you can always come back at any time and change the design to exactly what you like. And you can do that at any point of your web design process. If you just keep everything right here in this, um, in this global swatch manager. So let's try maybe change some text like that. So very cool. Uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Like I said, I'm working on the 
a new course for blocks master and it will be available next week i have already recorded most of the videos i need to edit them and yeah i was a uh, focusing on optimizing templates for the release of blocks 5 so we can take a look at how awesome site templates are but this weekend and next week i will be focusing 100 percent on finishing the first module of this course which will uh, which will cover pretty much all the basics you need to know to really get started this blocks 5 very fast and after that we will move to the second module which is making the website in blocks 5 it will be similar to what we had this blocks 4 website course as you remember last year when i built the template from scratch to the completion and it was a huge huge course this time around i will try to make it more compact because i want to keep i want to put more modules on different topics all inside one course it will be the biggest course the huge course of course at the end of 2023 probably but i want to make it one course the ultimate course how i call this because I just want this to be the one place to really go from basics to advanced work workflows. And so anybody can master blocks five and become the designer you always wanted to be. And of course, I will be there to help you do that. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to help you. Bye.